Hi, welcome to this channel. I want you to be rich. Today, we're going to talk about the 401k and how does it affect you? What are the pros and cons of 401k? What are the criticism of 401k and whether you should invest in one? My name is Lee. I teach about personal finance, money and investments. A little history about the 401k is that prior to 1974, uh, if you are a worker, you probably be on a pension. So if you're working for Ford making cars, you will be afforded a pension. And at that point of time, most people work for one company their entire life. Uh, and prior to 1974, employers like Ford would have to calculate life expectancy, uh, how much you made, how many years you worked for them, because a pension is a defined benefit that the employer pay for you for the rest of your life until the day you pass. So they need to know how long you're living. And another problem that presents itself is that if you don't have enough employees later on to come in to boost up the payment, there might be a problem where they are paying out more for people exiting the fund than people entering the, the fund. So in 1974, someone by the name of Ted Berner was asked to uh, redesign the uh, pension plan and then obviously it became the 401k because it's a lot less risk for the employer so as you can see the whole thing wasn't designed to, for the worker it is designed for Wall Street it is designed to benefit the employer obviously if you save up for 401k you benefit as well but the whole intention was to help employer get out of this uh, pension mess so in 1974 um, the internal revenue code called the 401k which is what why is named 401k were started and uh, it started with just con contribution contributions for bonus and options and later on with your salaries um, within a decade so in 1974 up to 1999 uh, 1990s they accumulated 384 billion under management so within a short period of time 401k became a lucrative amount of money wall street could manage um, and it is interesting to see now uh, as of 2020 vanguard shows a studies that the average saving rate for 401k is seven percent i will include the link below and uh, so you can see the full details of the survey by vanguard in 2020 and for people aged 55 to 64, the average savings in 401k is 232,000 uh, or an average of about 8.7%. So why are we talking about the 401k today? Uh, I'm going to include a link below to show that studies recently done, two thirds of Americans don't understand what a 401k is. Uh, it's probably a little bit complicated and there are a lot of criticism on 401k and what is a 401k anyway it is the three pillar that the government and um, and general society designed for retirement number one private savings number two social security and number three 401k so it says it's a it's a it's a stool that has three legs and you're supposed to depend on these three legs to retire but if you see in my other video i i have some skepticism about the 401k but today my video is just to introduce to you what is 401k so 401k has tax advantage is that if you contribute to 401k for example if you earn a hundred thousand dollars you take out ten thousand dollar you lock it away until you're 59 60 or whatever age they tell you uh, that you can take it out uh, this ten thousand dollar is going to be deducted from your hundred thousand and so your taxable income now go from hundred thousand to ninety thousand so you pay less tax at the moment and this ten thousand dollar is locked into a fund uh, there are many ways to invest which i talk about later in this video and if you make two thousand dollar from that ten thousand dollar investing that two thousand dollar too can be reinvested without having to pay tax at the present moment until you're retired according to the age the government say that you can take it out then you pay tax on it the idea is that at the point when you retire your taxable bracket is much lower so whether or not you go into a 401k really depends on what you imagine your tax bracket is because the other one that i will highlight in my other video is roth ira which uh, has a different kind of tax system and the thing is you can have both so what are the three ways that um, this 
401k benefit for you is that number one, when you take out money and you lock it away, you immediately lower your taxable bracket for this year. Number two, you tax defer. So the money you earn on the lock away amount. So in this example, you lock away $10,000 and you make money. The earnings is also tax deferred. And number three, when you take out money from your 401k, you're supposed to, uh, you know, you, you hope that your tax bracket is much lower. So you're actually paying lower taxes on the amount that you're going to take out at a much later time. Uh, there are four ways to invest your 401k. And the number one way is the employee stock. Number two is individual stocks. Number three is mutual fund. And number four is a exchange traded fund called an ETF. Uh, according to studies, 62% more than two thirds of the 401k are invested in what you call a mutual fund. So mutual funds has a lot of pros and a lot of cons. And I have a lot of criticism on what a mutual fund does and why I'm for or against it in my other video. But today we're going to talk about 401k and why some of us love 401k. Uh, one of the reasons is because most of employer, and this depends on your company policy, would match your 401k contribution. So if you put a 4% in, you will get a 4% match from your employer. So that is sort of like a free money. And so you get 8% and that saves up your money. And because if you take out the money early, there is a penalty of about 10, 20%. I'm not very really sure of the rate, the link is below, but there is a penalty if you withdraw before your retirement age. So this prevents you from accessing the money. It gives you some form of discipline to put money aside for retirement. Because we all know that we have this thing called short-term buyers. We don't save enough uh, small amount today uh, for the long term. So 401k forces you to save in a very disciplined manner and by taking amount out from your salary right away. And most of it is invested in what you call mutual funds. Um, in 2020, because of the pandemic and an act called the CARE Act, uh, a lot of us are able to withdraw up to $100,000 without the 10% penalty. Um, there is also this thing called the Solo 401k and the SEP, for, uh, SEP IRA, which are for entrepreneurs. So uh, if you are self-employed and you set up a company, you can also have a 401k, uh, which then can help you reduce your tax and save up for retirement in a disciplined manner. Um, I will also include the Vanguard or studies below that the average saving rate in the 401k was 7% and the average balance for all age group is $129,000. For people age 55 to 64, the average balance that is inside is $232,000 and at a savings of about 8.7%. Uh, there are limits to how much you can contribute to this uh, 401k, it's not unlimited. So uh, the, li the limits keep changing. I think recently the limit is about $20,500 and there's also an overall limit. I'll include the link below because it kept getting updated. Click on the link below and find out what, whether you have reached your limit. If you have not, talk to your financial advisor and think about making contributions so that you pay less tax and the money that you don't pay in taxes goes to your retirement. Um, what are some of the companies that are investing the 401k? First of all, I say your employer, so your employer might have a plan in place. The other one is individual stocks and mutual funds. So these are some of the companies that are talking about 401k and managing 401k. And they're one of the largest in America. Uh, like all investment, they carry risks. Companies can collapse. Uh, I have some criticism about the 401k is that um, a lot of times like mutual funds that you invest in uh, the small percentage of management fee performance fee that the fund takes from you actually eats up a lot of your savings away so yes mutual fund sounds like a very easy sit back and relax kind of investment but have a look at their contract which is sometimes very hard to read who are managing your money who is this person managing your money 
what are they buying because a lot of funds are buying funds and buying funds and each fund has a performance fee management fee and a lot of other fees and also because when market goes down a lot of this fund lose a lot of money so um, as of today 2020 we have 33 trillion dollars under management it is Wall Street uh, taking a shot at your money and because it's your money have a thing on both sides of the coin who is taking money from you and why and whether they're reliable would they collapse because this is your retirement retirement money this is hard earned money and uh, find out if there is a 401k plan in place for you uh, if you're a contract worker find out what are some of the terms and condition with your current employer or if you can set up your own 401k always talk to a financial advisor or if not just read a lot um, I like to introduce to you this book by Andy Tanner it's called 401k chaos he criticized the 401k plan uh, read both sides of the story so that you can understand what are the pros and cons of 401k and you go in with your eyes open because we all know what happened to uh, the pension plan let's say I, I don't remember, I think it's United Airlines. They basically, at the end of the day, declared bankruptcy. Went to Supreme Court. I include the link below. So you want to know what you're getting into because a lot of these plans don't, I mean, I wouldn't say a lot, but you know, some didn't end up so well. And you want to know what's going on with your money uh, and, and whether they are losing your money or making money and whether or not you should just have uh, individual stocks or if you have exchange traded fund, who is managing your money? And and we all know subprime and Lehman Brothers, things that we never knew that would happen, like a Lehman brother would collapse. So educate yourself. Even what I'm saying, try to be skeptical. Uh, do your homework. I hope this video helped you understand what a 401k is. In my other video, I'm gonna talk about Roth IRA. And also, if you're an entrepreneur, how you can set up your uh, solo 401k. If you like this video, please subscribe below and give me a like button. That will really help me make content to improve financial education for uh, all of us here. Thank you.